about the environment, about the community and the animals, the beautiful vistas, the clear lake. Uh, having seen that all these years, to think that that is not going to be there. Mm, emotions still very high. The Caldor fire burns miles from South Lake Tahoe this morning. Over the last 24 hours, it has been an all-out fight to save homes in and around the Tahoe Basin. Firefighters trimming trees and brush to limit the fire's fuel along highways 50 and 89. Thanks for staying with Morning Blend. We do appreciate that. I'm Walt Gray. And I'm Bria Love. Conditions were ripe for a worst-case scenario for South Lake Tahoe yesterday, but fortunately, it appears we got the best possible outcome. Meteorologist Rob Karlmark will elaborate on that coming up in just a few minutes. But first, new evacuation orders and warnings are now in effect across the border. Take a look at this map. You can see where the fire is burning. This map uses satellite data to detect points of intense heat. The darker squares indicate more recent detections. You can see the fire staying south of South Lake Tahoe, but moving east towards the Nevada state line. And here's a look at those new evacuation orders. This says the fire moves toward the state line. It includes Highway 50 from state line to just south of Zephyr Cove. Also, both Lower and Upper Kingsbury have evacuated. ABC 10 was in Mottsville. That's a part of Douglas County, which is now under a evacuation warning. We saw people hosing down a wooden barn that was built in the 1800s. They spent hours digging up the area surrounding that barn to create more defensible space, and they were doing whatever they could to make sure it survives. This is obviously an antique barn, and uh, this whole property was that brush back there you guys can see in the back, and all we can do is what we can do, and rig the sprinkler up to soak that wood because... That thing's a tinderbox, and it's full of hay, too. This is unreal. Well, they were also in the process of evacuating horses from their property. Mm, there was still so much going on with this wildfire, so we do have team coverage. ABC 10 meteorologist Rob Karlmark has an update on the forecast, and reporter Joshua Robinson is tracking the firefight at Kirkwood Resort. Reporter Devin Haskins is in the Christmas Valley area, but first, ABC 10 meteorologist Tracy Humphrey live at Heavenly Mountain Resort to talk about the firefighting conditions there right now. Hey, thank you, Walt. Yeah, so we're at the California Lodge portion of the Heavenly Ski Resort, and this is going to be an area that a lot of people are going to have their eyes on today because the winds are going to be pushing the Caldor Fire right into the backside of this particular um, California Lodge portion of the ski resort. So Cal Fire has already done a number of things. Take a look back behind me. This huge bulldozer that you see, they do employ bulldozers to build trenches and it really helps them in the firefight. So the fact that that is already here as in a staging process lets us know they also know today's going to be a critical day. Now take a look at that hillside. Now you're looking at it now and you're probably thinking, okay, there's no fire. Well, there is a fire, but it's on the other side of that ridge and it is very close. There are numerous hot spots and with that ridge and with the opportunity for blowing embers today because of increasing winds, we could be looking at a very, very critical time frame where we could be looking at the Caldor fire pushing closer to the Heavenly Ski Resort. Now take a look at this video. Now this video was shot yesterday by our reporter Brandon Riddiman. And with that video, you can see they're definitely trying to do everything they can to hold off this fire. So they are using the opportunity for snowmakers. They even have hydrants that are on site. So they've been using water cannons, all of that to try to wet down the topography, the terrain, and even the equipment so that if that fire makes it across that hillside, by having more moisture in play, it could help stave off the fire. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Sierra at Tahoe came dangerously close to burning down, as well as Kirkwood yesterday, and Heavenly is going to be another ski resort that we're all going to be watching today, all because of high fire danger with the Caldor fire. Now, right now, I'm showing you not only is the ski resort at issue here today, look at those houses. Numerous houses were just on the edge of a neighborhood. So there are a lot of other things that we're going to be watching today with the ski resort. You've got houses, you've got structures, some major subdivision, and a lot of people have evacuated, but being so close to the fire, the air quality here is hazardous yet again. So I tried to go the first hour because I wanted to make sure you could hear me well without the mask on, 
but I already have a headache and it is horrible. So, and I know firefighters sometimes have to deal with that too. So there are a lot of things going on today, but we're wishing them nothing but the best. Those high winds should be picking up around midday today, running to around early tonight. That is a look at what's happening here. I'm going to throw things to Devin.